Okay, so today we're in Cheshire, finally. And I'm gonna give you some tidbits about this town. It's basically a one highway city. That's right, if you know Cheshire, then all you know is Route 10. say that I'm a little bit of a junk food connoisseur, which unfortunately is something I should be staying away from the older I get, but I still can't help myself now and then, but um, I like to say that Route 10, this whole area, actually the whole region between Naugatuck, Waterbury, Cheshire, and Hamden is what I call hot dog alley because it feels as though all the best hot dog places in greater Connecticut all belong in that one cluster of towns. If you can prove me wrong or otherwise, let me know in the comments below. But one of the places I just drove past is called the Rose Dairy. I want to say that's the place that has, it's, it's one of the very few places that does char-grilled hot dogs in Connecticut. Not a very common thing. The only other place I can think of that does it would be uh, this one place in Hamden, uh, the name of the hoops in the area now. But that's not to say that char-grilled hot dogs are entirely where it's at. No, there's there's a place called Blackie's that's kind of like on the Cheshire Waterbury town line off of Route 70, which I think is exit 26 off of I-84 if you're following the road in towards Waterbury. There's a, a Costco and Coles there along the way. But yeah, Cheshire is probably one of the most overdeveloping towns in Connecticut. It's a town that's rich in its history, has loads and loads of wealth, beautiful homes, a cute, quaint downtown, uh, the Cheshire Academy from 1794 lines ahead. You can get yourself some Vietnamese food and Thai. Another uh, Asian cuisine. Or how a tailor shop. Well, I guess Route 68 is also part of Cheshire, but the only way to traverse this town north and south is along Route 10 here. And unfortunately, it gets really, really, really congested during rush hour time. I'm, I'm just driving around noon time. This is lunch hour. People should be at work. People should be at lunch, whatever. But as you can see, there are a great number of cars on the road. Right now, I need to go to the bank. If you're from down south, you will feel right at ease moving to Cheshire because Route 10 is literally just a straight up and down road. And uh, as you can tell, it's relatively flat, not windy. Hell, you'll feel like you're right in Florida for the most part, aside from the fact that it's currently oh, 34 degrees on December 20th, 
2021. Cheshire's got one of the best duck pin bowling alleys in all of Connecticut, the Highland Bowl. That's on Route 10, just like everything else. Oh, it's, it's funny that we're here because one of my friendly rivals lives in Cheshire and I've been trying to get her to come on the show, I guess. It's, is this a show? I don't know what you call this. It's a vlog, but I'm, I'm trying to get some more interview sessions and of course they're few and far in between. But anyways, Stephanie, I know you're not watching this, but if by chance you are, I still want you to come on and talk about your damn town because you know a lot more about Cheshire than I do. It's just a quick stop for me, but I'll tell you about hot dogs and bowling alleys and crap like that. Anyways, let's plug her restaurant that she works at. It's not all about just lowbrow hot dog foods and ice cream and yada, yada, yada. No, but coming up in just about a minute or so from where I currently am is a restaurant with a really, really funny name. Actually, here it is. It's called, I think, I'm probably going to butcher the name, Viron or Viron. Uh, Rondo Osteria. And that's this green building right here. Um, you see right there. Yeah. Awesome, awesome food. They have killer, killer small plates. I think they're done selectively, like for uh, like Sunday brunch or something. I forget. I, I'm not an expert there. I've only been there like three times or so. But if you want a nice meal, especially in the summertime where you can sit down on that fancy outdoor patio, that is the place to be. The place to be in the northern parts of Cheshire. But no, this town keeps on going. You keep going past the eye doctor there and then the on-ramp to the highway here. And I will show you the mighty Blackies in a moment. To help keep their costs down, Blackies is one of those cash-only establishments, and it's been around forever, and they're very, very famous for their pepper relish. Here, drip it up. Oh, I know, get some chips. Okay, $4. Sure. So there you have it. 
That's the main reason why I come to Cheshire for the hot dogs. Until next time, CT Vlogger is wishing you happy holidays and a happy new year. Take care, everyone.